Hello, students. Good evening. Hello. Hoy madrugamos. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's a pleasure. Yes. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you again. Welcome to our class number 15. People, tomorrow is our last day together. What a set. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we have had a, a very good time. I think we have had a very good learning experience on these days that we have been together. And I think it's going to be very beneficial for everybody. Well, so in order to work, I am going to start sharing my screen so we can organize everything. And when your classmates arrive, we're going to have everything ready. Okay. There we go. So did you have the opportunity to work on the platform? Did you have the opportunity to finish working on the platform? Yes. Yes. Do you have your certificates ready? <laughs> If you have any problem with the certificates, let me know so we can fix it, okay? Let's see. Today we're going to work a little bit on sentence creation and we're going to finish the topic for uh, this section. And tomorrow it's going to be a day for presentations, right? We're going to present the biography. I have my biography ready to show it to you, right? This is my biography. And we are going to study it a little bit later, right? We are going to study the biography later on, okay? So tell me a little bit about your week. What did you do on the weekend? What did you do? Yes? Con lo de la plataforma, aprovechándola. Ajá, Como hay preguntas, si era para la plataforma, dice Ajá. que la, el ejercicio 4.12, ninguna me salió bien. Entonces yo me pregunto, ¿cuál es el error? Eso trataba de, um, de que tenemos que ordenar la oración. La, que estaba desordenada. Entonces yo trataba de ordenarla poniendo, ¿Did you watch televis television Ajá. Last, last night? Ajá. Pero no, ninguna me salió bien. Okay, ah, no sé si yo me equivoco o qué pasará. Vamos a verla. Ok, let's go to the platform. To the platform. There we go. I am going to share my screen here on the platform. And let me see. Taking advantage, right? Let's see, let me see. I am going to go to my courses. And let's see, Uy. I'm going to go to mine and here we go. Okay. So you say 4.12, right? Yeah. Okay, here I go. Good evening. Hi, good evening. This one. And I scramble the sentences, it says. So, what were you writing here? Did you make sure that you wrote everything? Like, did you watch television last night? And the question mark? And we should click on submit. And it's like that. Pero yo lo tengo así y no me lo agarra. O <laughs> la, la primera no será mayúscula, quizás. Uh -huh. Yo lo tengo. Did you watch television last night? Con uh -huh. interrogación al final, sin espacio. Exactly. Bueno, lo voy a revisar a ver qué tal. Gracias, teacher. Maybe the capital at the beginning. Right, you have to put the capital letters. 
And it says, for example, put the words in the correct order. Remember to type the uh, question mark, right? Did you have a good summer? And the question mark. In this one, you have, did you have dinner last night? And you have the question mark, right? And you have it there. The next one, you say, did you go to work yesterday? And the question mark, right? And then you have the question. And the last one, uh, it's, did they go to the movies did you, on Wednesday? Thank you. On Wednesday, did you go to the movies on Wednesday? And then you click on submit and that's it. So Mr. Juan, try it out. And uh, if not, we can observe uh, like one by one. Try the sentences and take a picture if you make a mistake or if you get them incorrect. Si aún haciéndolas, así como las acabamos de hacer, le salen incorrectas, tomaré una foto y me manda personalmente el screenshot, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Perfect. Pero tenga cuidado con eso, con la mayúscula y con el question mark at the end. So, I think everything has to work perfect. ¿Tuvieron problemas con alguna otra, chicos? Para apoyarles ahorita. En eso. Hello for all the rest of the class that is here. We were explaining a little bit of the problems. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Eduardo. Hello, Hello Ingrid. Hello, David. Tell me. Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay. And did you have problems with any other section of the platform? No, teacher. No. Okay. Remember that I was explaining in there in, in the questions that you had about the difference between was and where. That was is for, a, in this case, for he, she, it, right? And also for I, say I was, and where is for the plurals, right? For we, you, and they. We were, for example. We're going to study that today, okay? So, Remember that we should finish with every single exercise and with the final evaluations. In the final evaluations, we have uh, six exams, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we should finish with all that and we need to get the certificate by tomorrow, okay? Para el día de mañana, todos tienen que tener su certificado descargado. Y si todavía tenemos algún problema ahí, estoy para servirles, para ayudarles, ¿ok? So, uh, here we have the final evaluations on which we have, a, ok, here we have the past tense. Evelyn, tell me. Sorry, teacher, fue sin querer. Ah, saludarme quería. Teacher, <laughs> otra pregunta. Tell me. Es con los años, con la tarea de mañana, digamos, uh -huh. para decir, eh, yo, en eh, 1990 decimos 19. 1990. Ah, como en dos, va, 19, exactly. 90. Exactly, exactly. Pero like cuando that. decimos 2005, 2005. 2005. In those years, eh, creo que les explicaba en la clase anterior que ya del 2000 para allá, ya no se cambia. You say 2001, 2002, 3, 4, 5, 2020, 2022, right? And you don't change it. In some cases, there are people who say 2020 or 2021, and it's correct, right? But it's a little bit more uh, complicated. But if you want to use it like that, you can also use it. When you say 1974, 1980, right? Or 2010, or 2010, that it's correct, right? The two forms are possible. Okay, thank you. Okay, and so in this case, eh, ahí está, Evelyn, le baja la manita, hoy sí la había levantado. Okay, so we have the final evaluation on which you have to complete six different evaluations, one listening, you have to complete the sentences about the city. 
that we did it in class as well. Uh, questions about was, where, and WH. Match the verbs to the nouns. You say had, and you say had a picnic, had tennis, had a swimming, right? You have to match the verb with the correct form of the noun. And in this one, you have to write, to select the correct option for you to complete the question. And on this one, in the final uh, exam, you have a, a little paragraph about a person who was alone at home. And here you have some questions. Well, you have three questions to answer. Okay, we are going to check on the final evaluations that all of them are complete tomorrow, okay? So going back to what we were doing, we were working on the previous class about the past tense, right? We were working on the past tense and the different verbs in past, right? We practice a lot on this one and we did a lot of review on the past tense, the different yes, no questions in past. And we were also reviewing a little bit on how to create the sentences in past tense. And let me see. Okay. Let me check here. Okay. And here we were working on the activities that you did on the previous Christmas, right? We also did that one. And we were practicing a little bit of reading, right? So the final thing that we did in the previous class was the introduction of was and where, right? That was is the one that you use for the past tense of the verb to be, right? We were working on some exercise and this was the last uh, activity that we did in class, right? We were talking that in the case of I was, right? Because was in this case is the past tense of am, right? And in this case, where is the past tense of are, right? For am and for are, right? And also a was is the past tense of is. Right, this is very important. And we were reading some examples. For the affirmative sentences, you say was or were, and for the negatives, wasn't, right? For all the different subjects, wasn't and weren't. And you change the sentences in affirmative and in negative with not, right? That's the change that you make. Miss Elba, can you help me to read the first example? Okay, the first example. You help me to read the first example, this one. Okay. Yes, el que le acabo de marcar. I was born in Korea. Uh -huh. And the negative is? I wasn't born in the USA. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the USA. Elba, if you need to use the example for you, how can you create the sentence? Imagine that the example is about Elba. And for the rest, think about it. El resto de la clase también lo piensa. Okay, el ejemplo de Elba. ¿Cómo haría Elba este ejemplo? I was born in Salvador. Mm -hmm. I wasn't born in the USA. <laughs> okay, I wasn't born in the USA. Very good job, Elba, on the spot, right? On the spot. So very nice, very nice job for this one, right? I was born in El Salvador. I was not born in Guatemala. I was born in El Salvador. I was not born in Mexico, right? I was born in El Salvador. Very good job. The next example, Evelyn, can you help me to read the next one? You were pretty young. You, you weren't very old. Okay, if you are going to make that example with I, 
How can you transform the example for I? I. I wear. What do you use with I? Uh, you, no, I, 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 R. Plus, help Evelyn. I was. I was. I, I was. was. I was. Very El Salvador. <laughs> no, 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 I was pretty young, you say. I was pretty young. La misma I oración, was. solo que usando I. I was okay. pretty young. And the other one? Uh, I... I... I wasn't. I wasn't very old. I wasn't very old. Okay, very good job. Class, please repeat with me. I was. I was. I was. I was. I was. I was. I was born in El Salvador. I was born in El Salvador. I was pretty young. I was pretty young. I was 17. I was 17. I have a question here. How old were you in 2004? Tell me, how old were you in 2004? I have this question for you. Think about it. How old were you in 2004? I was 14. 14. Juan Eduardo, you were 14 in 2004? Oh my God. How old were you in 2004, people? <clears throat> the mathematic moment. I was five, five old. Oh. Five years old. Five years old. <laughs> really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was 19. 19. Thank you you were 19. Easy, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the question, teacher. Oh my God. Imagine. You were five years old. Wow. How old were you, Mr. David? I was. 52 year. No, but uh, in 2004? 52. 52? Yeah. 52? Yeah. And how yes. old are you right now? Excellent. No, no, no. no. Momento. Detengan esto. ¿Cuántos años tiene ahorita, David? 52. And right now, right now you are 52. Okay. Yeah. Yo dije, inmortal este hombre. Sí, ¿por qué? Okay, but in 2004, ¿cuántos años tenía en el 2004? 44. 44. Okay, 44. Yeah. Mr. Eduardo, how old were you in 2004? 19, you say. I was 19. 19, and you were born in? Um, 1985. 1985, yeah, because I was 20. <laughs> I was 20 years old in 2004. Imagine, Jenny, how old were you in 2004? I was uh, 33. 33 in 2004? Yeah. Really? And how old are you right now? 51. Oh my God, but you don't look like 51. No, you look very young. Yo, yo la hacía como que de 32. Unos 25. Ajá, uh -huh. very young. Wow. Let's see. <laughs> but but Abigail is the winner right now. She was five years old. Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Pude haber sido su mamá. Oh my God. Se nos fue la juventud. Exactly, exactly. En el dolor de espalda. Oh my God. 
Let's see. I am going to ask another person. Mm -hmm. Mr. <laughs> oh, and my God. And you don't look like. Esa es una gran ventaja. Así quiero ser. <laughs> Mr. Elmer, how old were you in 2004? Uh, I was. I was born in 24. You were born? Yes. Oh, really? And how old are you right now? <laughs> 41. Ah, ah, niño usted, come on. So you were 41. In 2004, you were? 24. 24, oh my God. <laughs> exactly, in the youth. Anita, how old were you in 2004? Good evening, teacher. Hi. I was 17 years 17 old. years old with no Dewey, right? Yes. <laughs> you, were, you were illegal because you didn't have a Dewey. No. So that is the, the next example, right? She was 17. When you say I was, when you turn back in time, right? And the next one, it says, we were born in the same year. Who was born in 1984? Who was born in 1984? Nobody? ¿Quién nació en el 84? Nadie. Only the teacher. Who was born in 1985? Me. Okay, Eduardo. And only Eduardo. So we can say we were born in the same year, right? I was born in September. <laughs> so we were born in the same year. Carlos, in which year were you born? In which Pardon? year were you born? In que año nació? Uh, um, yeah. 19... <laughs> Se me equivoco, 1981. 1981. So it's uh -huh. the adult 81. here. <laughs> the adult in church. Right now, yes. the, the adult is Mr. David. They were in Korea in 1998, right? We weren't in the USA in 1998. So based on the examples that we have talked about, remember that for I, for he, and for she, you use was. For you, we, and they, you use were, because it's the plural form, right, in the past. In this case, we have an example here. We have an example about a little paragraph, and it says, my family and I, my family and I, ¿qué sujeto sería es? My family and I. I, you, we, she, we, we, we right? My we. family and I, porque se incluye usted. My family and I, and you have, were all born in Korea. We, we, weren't, weren't, weren't born in the USA. I was, I was, I was, I was, right? was. I was. And it says, I was born in the city of Incon. And my brother was. was. My was. brother was born there too. My parents, parents. Weren't. 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 weren't born in Incon. They were, were. They were, were. born in the were. capital. In the capital. Seoul. 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 Seoul, right? So, very good job. So, in this case, remember the different subjects, right? The subjects are going to give you the idea on how you are going to complete the different sentences. Here we have a little bit of extra information about this, and these are the questions. How do you make the questions? In the questions, you put was or were at the beginning of the sentence, right? Was your brother born in 1984? Were your parents born in Incan or Incan? I don't really know the pronunciation of this one. Incan, I'm going to say. <laughs> Were you born in the USA? And it says, yes, I was or no, I wasn't. 
If I ask, Janita Mendoza, were you born in the USA? Yes, I was. Yes, I was, right? Yes, I was. Were you born in the USA for real? <laughs> no. Ah, okay. <laughs> I was like, wow. I said, from the USA, very young. <laughs> Tell me. Mr. Uh, I'm going to ask a boy. Mr. Elmer, were you born in Santa Ana? Yes, I was. Really? Yes, teacher. Oh, wow. Yay. I got I, one point. I, I, <laughs> ah, yeah, it's true. I, I live, was born I in Chihuahua. It's true. Yeah. Ese era el tema que tenía que investigar. Ya me acordé. <laughs> <laughs> In Google, donde vive el <laughs> Good. Excellent. Yeah, I, I, I was going to ask you in what part of the city do you live? And later on, I'm going to send you a message. Okay. Tell me, uh, Miss Elba, were you born in San Salvador? No. Where were you born? I was born in La Union. In La Union? Yes. Oh, really? Wow. Almost in Honduras. So if the person, for example, says, were you born in San Miguel, for example, and the person says, no, I wasn't. So you go and jump to the next question. So where were you born? Entonces, ¿dónde naciste? Right? I was born in uh, Santa Ana. And in this case, for example, uh, let me see. Jorge, do you have brothers or sisters? Mr. Jorge Luis, do you have brothers Hello. or sisters? Uh, brothers. Okay, do you, ha you have brothers. And tell me, was your brother born in 1994? No, uh, he wasn't. No, okay, no, he wasn't. No, Pare no, ahí. No, no, he wasn't. no, he wasn't. And brinco a la siguiente pregunta. When was he born? He was born in 1981. Oh, perfect. So you see, if you don't get the correct answer on the first one, you jump to the second question. And in this case, for example, I'm going to ask Jenny. Jenny, were your parents born in San Salvador? No, they weren't. So what city were they born in? They... They born in Candelaria, Santa Ana. Hey, in Candelaria de la Frontera. Yes. Almost in Guatemala, right? Imagine here, Elba was born almost in Honduras and your parents almost in Guatemala. Yes. <laughs> we are very international people, I can see. Eduardo, was, uh, do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, he was. No, no, no. Do you have brothers or sisters? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. How many brothers or sisters do you have? Um, How many? Two brothers. I have two brothers. And when were your brothers born? Um, he were born in... Um, they were born in San Salvador. Okay, but when? The question is when. When were your brothers born? You can say uh, one was born in and the other one was born in and you give me the date. Mm -hmm. okay, we're going to talk about this one. Um, he was born in um, 19... 
1987. Hey, you were very close to each other, right? So, mamá, rapidito, al mandado. <laughs> so, you are very close in age. So, this is the idea of the question. This is a yes, no question. And if you don't get the answer for the question, you can add extra information questions, right? Let me see. I am going to look for a married one. Evelyn, are you married? Yeah, in the uh -huh. Are you married, Evelyn? Married. No. <laughs> no, this is an We know it. Let's see. Josue Alexander, are you married? Mr. Josue Alexander. No, I wasn't. No, <laughs> no I wasn't. No, no estabas, pero hoy sí. Oh, no, I am not. Uh, no, I am not. Okay, let's see. Ingrid, are you married? Miss Ingrid? No. <laughs> no. Oh my God, no. so, so, solteros aquí. Vamos. No. <laughs> Vamos a preguntarle no. al, más, al más jovencito de todos. Mr. David, are you married? Yes, I'm married. <laughs> okay. My wife, Rita Lena. <laughs> Okay, Ritalena, David loves you. Okay, David, when did you get married? In what year? My marriage in years 46 year. When you were 46? No, so it was in yeah. 2000? What? In the 2000, uh, when did you get married? Um, 54. 2000? Okay, in the 2000, when did you get married? 14. Ah, 14. Sí. <laughs> 54 is 54. Yeah. No se han casado todavía. Yeah. <laughs> 2014. 2014. Very good job. Yeah. So, these are the examples of the questions with WH form to talk about the past, right? So in this case, if we add this type of question, for example, I have here one example of a question and it says, were you born in this city? And in this one, for example, you have the WH form and after this one, you need to use was or where. So what will be the complement? If you have the word you. Where? When, where you born. And here you have your parents. When? When was your parents or when were? Where? Where? When, because, where? Because it's plural, right? Your yeah. mother. Where? Was. Was. When was, right? When was your mother born? And the next one, your father. Was. 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 When was your father born? And in this one, you and your family in this city last year? Where? You where? and your family, you? right? Where? Okay, where? you have where. Where? Right? where? You at this school last year? What? Was. Was you? Where? Okay. Where? Okay. You lo, okay. En el caso de was, lo ocupamos con I, he, and she. Okay. So in this case is where? Who? Your first English teacher. Who was? Who was? Who was? Who was your first English teacher? ¿Quién fue su primera teacher en inglés corporativo? Emma. For me, Emma. I don't remember last name. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. But her name is Emma. Emma. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. The other ones, who was your first teacher? Ya no la recuerdo. Magali. Magali. What nationality was your first English teacher? Salvador, right? What was he or she like? It's like, ¿cómo era ella? A question. Uh -huh. La pregunta por un eh, bono en Bitcoin. When was your mother born? Ajá. Uh -huh. My mother was born in 19... 1948. 1948. Ajá. Uh -huh. The rest, Abigail, when was your mother born? Cuando naciste, no. no. <laughs> Is your mother there with you? No. <laughs> so send a WhatsApp, <laughs> mamá, cuando naciste. <laughs> Good, let's see. Ajá, se perdió el bono. Let's see. Carlos, when was your mother born? She was... Um, she was born? Ajá, born. Four. Perdió el bono también. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Anna, when was your mother born? My mom was born in 1963. Very good. Look at Carlos, mamá, cuando nació. <laughs> ah, go on. So, uh -huh. when was your mother born? Hi. Oh, no le preguntó a su mamá, no la tiene ahí. <risa> no, ella ya no está. Ah, bueno, entonces hay que ir a investigar ahí. Ah, todos los documentos, <risa> come on. Y su, y su mamá viendo la bebé. <risa> ya murió. Por eso nos está viendo desde allá. Ah, a la, sí, a la sí, parte sí. de Jesús hace como, ay, no se sabe mi fecha, mira. <risa> come on. La queremos, la queremos. ¿Cómo, bueno. se, llamaba, cómo se llamaba su mami? Blanca Miriam. Niña Blanca Miriam. <ríe> Mándale un recordatorio a Carlito. <ríe> Así como. Ay, ay, Carlos, llegaste a grande y nunca te acordaste. <ríe> yeah, that's important, people. It's, it's the, the very important date. Imagine if I ask you about your husband or your wife, people. Jenny, when was your husband born? He was born in 1970. 1970, ah, very good. Elmer, when was your wife born? She was born in 1981. 81, okay. Si está cerca, ya lo vamos a ver que nos hace cara de mentira. Eduardo, <laughs> when was your wife born? <laughs> She was born in 1985. 85, good. If, if she's next to you, she's like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> you should remember that. That's cool. Okay, thank you, my dear students, for your answers, right? Remember the use of was and were for the specific people, right? Don't use it with the incorrect person. Let's go and check a little bit on the conversation. I need two volunteers to help me with the conversation. Five, four, three, Eduardo and Elba. Thank you very much. Eduardo, you are Chuck and Elba is Melissa. What, Chuck? Where did you call? Um, so Chuck, where did you grow up? Ah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I, I don't listen. Um, <laughs> okay, go. I, I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you go to Chandler? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh. 
Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So, why did you become a hairstyle? Because I need the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Um... Okay. <laughs> it was like, well, huh? <laughs> look at look at the hair. Look at the hair of the lady. <laughs> and look at look at the hairstyle. It's like ah well. <laughs> thank you. Ya no me lo puede pegar de vuelta. Well, okay. Like when you go to the hair salon and you finish like Dora the Explorer, right? <laughs> it's like oh, I love it. Ooh, fantastic. <laughs> and you hate it. So this is the complement of the conversation that we were doing in the previous classes, right? This is the complement of the story. We were talking about Chuck and Melissa in a previous conversation, right? When they say, where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. So you weren't born in the USA. No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years. Well, your English is really good now. Thank you. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. But I was born here, he says. And then he continues with the chat and he says, so Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? What was your major? Es que fue lo que estudiaste, en que te titulaste, right? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, hmm, what do you think? Uh, 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 nice, fantastic, right? <laughs> so it was like, in my case, you say like, I was an accountant for three years in high school. Yo era contadora, pasé siendo contadora tres años en bachillerato. And it says like, and why did you become a teacher? Because I like it and I love it. And it's my profession. I, I do love it, right? I never imagined being an accountant, for sure. So this is the same thing. But in this one, as you can see, we have questions in past. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? What was your major? Another question that you can find? Why did you become a high style? Very good. Why did you become a hairstylist, right? What was your major? And the last one, what do you think it's not in past? Okay, it is a present form question. Okay, so in this case, as you can see, we have the questions that we were talking about in past tense, right? Where did you grow up? ¿Dónde crecieron ustedes? Where did you grow up? Si crecieron en una ciudad diferente a la que están ahora. Where did you grow up? So you say, I grew up in, and you give me the answer. ¿Quién creció en una ciudad diferente a la que vive hoy? I grew, grew up. Mm -hmm. In Cojutepeque. In Cojutepeque. And now you live? In Tonacatepec. In Tonacatepec. Very good. Another example? Another example, my dear students? In my case, I grew up in Chalchuapa, but I live in San Salvador now. What is your example? Or do you live in the same city? O viven en el mismo lugar donde crecieron? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I grew up. 
Uh -huh, Evelyn. I grew up. I grew up. I grew up in Las Moras. Uh -huh. In my, I, no, era al revés. I live in Las Moras y I grew up in Nuevo Lourdes. Okay, so, but you live near, near there in San Juan o Pico. So, Las Moras is in Ciudad Arce en Ciudad o Pico? En San Juan o Pico, Ciudad es, Pico. No, es carretera eh, a Santa Ana. Yeah, I, it es, is. Es mucho antes de llegar a Opico. Oh, okay. Good, very good. Las Moras. It's before American Park. Antes todavía, falta mucho. Eso está muy, muy adelante. Wow, so I am very lost. Near Termo del Río. <laughs> no, ya, <yeah>, esa ciudad. <laughs> We are like in the middle of all the... Near Petena. Mucho, mucho, Expo mucho. Por Salva, mucho. teacher. Por Expo Salva. Oh. Ah, sí. Por Metro Centro de Lourdes. Ah, it's on the, ah, on the way to, to San Salvador, almost in Los Chorros. Sí. Ah, very good. Good. So, in the case of Elba, you are in the same city. You didn't change. Do you still live in La Unión? Todavía vive en La Unión? Yeah. Wow. Nice. So, that's the question about where did you grow up? And in the case of the people who moved, when did you come? to Los Angeles, in this case. Ana, when did you come to Tonacatepeque? When I was uh, 20. 20, very good. So let me see. Mr. Jorge, what is your profession? Uh, profession is uh, agricultor pequeño. Okay, I am a farmer, you say. I, I am, am farmer. I am a farmer. I am a farmer. Very good. And let me see. Uh, chin, 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 chin. Janita, what is your profession? I am a lawyer. And why did you become a lawyer? Mm, 1995. No, you say, why? Por qué? Why did you become a lawyer? Ay. <laughs> Ay. <laughs> it's the best profession. Because it is the best profession, right? Because yeah. it is the best profession. Or because I like to read, because I like the law, because I like to fight with people. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, good, very good. How old, and this is the question that I was asking you before. Esta fue la pregunta con la que iniciamos la clase. How old were you in? Y les dije el año en 2004, right? How old were you in 2004? And you were answer, you were answering, I was 18. The next one, let me see. Uh, who is at the university? Abigail, are you at the university? Can you repeat, please? Are you at the university? Yeah. What is your major in the university? In marketing. Marketing, very good. Let's see, David, what was your major in the university? The pronunciation major. Uh, um, um, moment. Business administration. Business. 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 Okay. Business administration. Okay. Usted acuerda ese del español cuando dice, hey, te tengo un business. <laughs> right? Okay. Business comes from business. Okay. Bus business is negocio. Business. Pero en okay. buen salvadoreño decimos, te tengo un business. You say, what is business? No, it's not business. It's business. Right? I have a business for you. Te tengo un business. 
ajá, un negocio. <ríe> ah, now. Te compro los 30 Bitcoin en 25 dólares. <ríe> Here you have. <ríe> That was not a good business, people. That was not a good business. Tell me, eh, how was the life in college? How was the life in college? Do you remember the life in the university? Para los que ya pasaron esa linda etapa de la vida. How was the life in the university? Nice, beautiful, fantastic, horrible, terrible. It was good. It was great, right? It was great. It was, great. It was fantastic, right? I was free <clears throat> and I didn't know. Free. So, Here I have a couple of questions and I have the answers as well. I need you to help me to match the questions with the answers, okay? Let me move it a little bit. Okay, there you go. For the question, when and where were you born? For the question, when and where were you born? The answer is letter C. Uy, se me fue el lapicero por onda. When and where were you born? The answer is letter C. I was born in 1983 in Hiroshima, right? For the question, where did you grow up? What would be the answer? Where did you grow up? What is the answer? I grew up in Tokyo. Very good, very good. I grew up in Tokyo. What about the next one? When did you start a school? I am. I was. Uh -huh. When did you start a school? ¿Cuándo comenzaste a estudiar? I entered first grade in 1989. Very good job. How old, how old were you then? ¿Cuántos años tenías en ese entonces? How old were you then? I was six. I was six. I was six. I was six. And how was your first day at school? It was a little scary. It was a little was scary, scary, right? <laughs> What was a, oh, sorry. Who oh, was your who first was friend in school? Her name was Yumiko. Was Her name was Yumiko. What was she like? She was really, was really shy. shy. She yeah. was really shy, right? Yeah. And the last yeah. one? What did my, you take? Uh, sorry, why did you take this class? My English my wasn't English very, was good. very good. My English yes. wasn't very good. Okay. Perdón, acto de madre de familia. Hijo de eso. The next one. Uh, so you say, why did you take this class? My English wasn't very good. My English wasn't very good. So. In this case, okay, take it, please. Thank you. In this case, as you can see, for the answer with why, you give an answer, you give a reason, right? Why did you take this class? My, my English wasn't very good. Or you can say, because my English wasn't very good. So that's the, the form of the question. Now, I am going to go a little bit on the biography. Right? Here I have the example of my biography. Tadam! Busque la foto donde me había peinado. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there you go. No, esa fue la que les puse cuando nos conocimos. And here you have. Uh, this is the little example of the biography that you are going to use for tomorrow, right? I know that many of you have it ready, right? And it says, she is Natalie. Right? She is Natalie. It's not I am. She is Natalie. Her mother is Carmen and her father is Ernesto. She was born in Santa Ana, right? On September 15, 1984. She started from kindergarten, from kindergarten to high school 
in Chalchuapa, and she did her university studies in Santa Ana. She started her teaching life, started in past tense, in 2003, and then she worked at UNICAES for five years. UNICAES is the University of Santa Ana. Later, comma, okay, wait, 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 aquí me falta una coma, later. She worked at an academy as an interpreter, at an academy, sorry, and as an interpreter for American visitors. She also worked as a public school teacher and as a teacher for a private program for 10 years. Nowadays, Nati works as a principal in a prestigious academy in San Salvador and as a teacher for English Corporativo with the most amazing students. All of you. So this is the example of what you are going to do for tomorrow. You have to tell me a little bit about your life in past tense, right? And you are going to describe a little bit of what you did, okay? Si se fijan, no me fui como en el año, en el 2000, que en el 1985 eh, aprendió a decir mamá. En el 86 aprendió a decir papá. En el 87 caminó. No, ya tres años. <laughs> no, I, I was very, I was very fast. I was talking and walking and everything when I was one year old. Desde ahí ya era hiperactivo. So this is a little example. So this is what you are going to do tomorrow with you, right? With your life. If you have it different, for example, if you have it in different pictures, si lo hicieron como en diferentes slides, explicando cada evento, está bien. Okay, si lo hicieron en un solo párrafo para explicarlo todo, está bien. Okay, si lo tienen como por pausas, también está bien. Question, yes? Um, how did you learn English? Ah, <laughs> good question. Because I was very curious. I learned English by myself when I was 11 years old. Cuando tenía 11 años. Por curioso. <laughs> because I love music and I have always loved music. Siempre me ha gustado la música. And then when I, I remember that I started uh, like listening about the Backstreet Boys and all these bands, uh, I wanted to know the meaning of the music, right? Yo dije, quiero saber qué significa todas esas canciones. And I was there with the dictionary <laughs> working. <Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> so. Antes era más difícil por la tecnología. Yeah. No había como hoy. No. Ay, no tuve a una teacher Nati aquí ayudando. <laughs> no, y, y nunca fui como a una academia ni nada, sino que así a la pura vida. I learned and uh, I remember that my father was in an English course. Mi papá estaba en un curso de inglés y le robaba los libros. And I was always checking on the books and everything. So I learned by myself and I have always liked it. Siempre me gustó desde bien chiquitita. And you see, now I am here. Mm, master, no. so let's speak it all. <laughs> The battery boys, esa es la razón de todo. <laughs> yes, so that's that's my story, right? This is the story of your teacher. So tomorrow I am going to know the story of my students, but it is going to be something short, one or two minutes each, okay? And you are going to talk about the most important events in your life. For example, here, I didn't mention that I got married in 2011, that I became a mother in 2017, right? So, and, and now I, I am in, in a different level of life, discovering how to be a mother. <laughs> so you can add these different events in your life. So it's something simple, right? It's something simple, the thing that you need to do. The only thing that you need to do is to choose the events, okay? Quizás lo más difícil va a ser escoger los eventos que van a plasmar. Remember to use past tense, the correct form of the verbs. And if you have the paragraph ready, you can send it on the chat, okay? Or you can send a picture. So I can have a couple of comments there. And I am going to make comments also in the class, okay? 
So that is going to be for tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow. Okay, my dear students, I wish you to have a fantastic night. And I am going to see you tomorrow for our last class and for the biographies. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 If you have a question, let me know. Si tienen dudas o problemas o se traban en la biografía, me avisan y les ayudo. Bye bye. Okay. Take okay, care. Bye bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.